Well, hello, hello. I'm pretty sure this is a video which is going to cause a lot of comment. And I'm also pretty sure this is a video where you're going to watch the whole video. This is not a real Chuckington toy. This is a knockoff, or I call them Dark Side toy. And somehow this knockoff toy packs some serious punch. So go get your favorite drink or some popcorn, sit down and enjoy this video, please. Well, 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 it's been a long time in coming, but it's finally happened. I've found some Chuggington knockoff toys. Chuggington has joined the dark side, and it's done it in royal style. I've actually bought three of these sets. One set features Brewster, another set features Wilson, and yet another set features Coco. This set is a very interesting looking playset. It's a roller coaster style playset. Each one of these sets cost me $19. The box artwork does not disappoint, and in fact it's covered in contradictions. I can read one section of it that says environmentally friendly materials, safe non-toxic, safe product for infants. Yet in the other corner it says it's for ages 6 and above. Welcome to the dark side. It also says things like this. It would be children's favourite gift. It's an adventurous and exciting roller coaster, and on the top of the box is the strangest read of all. It's turning over and over, in the space would bring us the tour feeling of taking it. If you can interpret that for me, please do. Because I've got three of these wondrous roller coaster sets, maybe I can combine the three and make quite a large roller coaster layout. What is interesting, each train takes three AA batteries and the track system seems to be quite brightly coloured. I'm quite eager to get into these sets because I want to see the steep climbing, urgently swerving, speedy diving and air overturning all for myself. Coming in for the unboxing shot, and it has been just a really massive year for knockoff toys where I live a lot of Thomas stuff. So much this year. It's been like uh, 2013, the year of the knockoff. Well, there's the contents of the box, and the first thing that grabs my eye is the colours used in that track. Very girly, but it's sort of pretty. There's all the other bits that hold the track up, and there's, well, their version of Brewster. What I should do is get the three characters out, and let's look at them. Well, I've got Brewster out of the box and I've set him up on a piece of track and I've put the little fiddly things in between to connect the train. And I'll tell you what, at first glance, this doesn't look too bad as in the fact that it looks like a Chuggington train. And the one thing about Chuggington, the real Chuggington is, one of its hallmarks was that its toys looked very similar to what you saw on a TV show. This here is quite impressive considering it's a knockoff. And as you'd know, if you'd seen my Thomas and Friends knockoff videos, sometimes those Dark Side Thomases can be very, very awkward indeed. Just to get your head around the scale of this fake Chuggington train, there's a real McCoy Chuggington Interactive Brewster, and there's the diecast Brewster. So that roller coaster train is actually fairly similar to the Chuggington Interactive. And let's take a look at Wilson in the round. There's one thing I've got to say, there's some interesting contrasting colours going on this. I know there's that blue and red and there's that silver on there as well. I don't like to say this, but it actually looks half impressive. But as you know, on the dark side, often looks can be deceiving. And let's give Coco a spin. And it's quite interesting. They've got this silver, purple, green combination going on here. And it's very eye-catching. Maybe this is why this toy is quite appealing to children. The fact that it just sort of jumps out at you with colours. You know, I've got to say, it's surprisingly well detailed considering it's a knockoff toy. The track system's like real roller coaster track. There's these wheels here that stop the train from flying off the track. And there's a gear coming down the bottom of the train that engages into the very lower part of the track. Joining the pieces of the track is quite simple. And there are also little clips used to keep the track together. It actually makes for a fairly flexible yet robust track system. Each playset came with this merry bag of little plastic clips. There's a little screwdriver there, and there's these black jobs here that join the train together, and they're the bits that I don't really like. And there's an example of the clips, connecting up Brewster to his first carriage. It's a fun little train. If it's a fail as a roller coaster, you could probably go and glue the track to the ceiling in your bedroom and have a train running around upside down. We're trying to get the batteries in. It basically says to take off the top of the body here. If, on the end of the box, there was these little instructions on how to do it. But I tell you what, this is pretty tough to get this, this top off. I'm really having to wrench at this. Maybe that's how they made it childproof. Maybe this is a safety thing that even adults can't get in as well. Oh, Ooh, I think I've nearly got it. Come on, ah, that's it. And I've got to undo that screw there. 
Maybe I can use a little baby screwdriver that came with the set. Thought of useless. Oh, let me get a real one. I'm not playing with that toy. That's more like it. Oh, another wondrous battery compartment. Oh, I'm a thickler for being boring. Guess what I'm going to say next? Do you know? They're not your cells. Oh, it's on! It's on! Help! 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 <laughs> oh, that was scary. Well, I suppose that's just showing us that there's no silly sound chip in this. Maybe a first for a knockoff toy through here. Well, I suppose we're getting a bit of a taste of the dark side. Let's see me struggle with this. Um, put put this back on. Oh, I hate that sound of crunching plastic or snapping plastic. Come on. Oh. Welcome to the dark side again. And after a lot of forcing, and I mean really forcing this thing, it's going back together, and I mean really snap together. Somehow I didn't break anything. Sorry, Coco. Well, there's one thing I can tell you. This thing must go super fast, and there's a lot of strength behind this. I can't slow that wheel up. I've had to get your hair caught in there, and it'll take all your hair off. We've got no sound chip, but we've got a freaky light. Look at that. Well, I've set up one of the play sets. It's the Brewster one, and you know what? This is actually looking fairly impressive. I shouldn't say this about a dark side toy, but um, yeah, I paid $19 for this, and it makes a very impressive little play set. I'm going to make three loops. I'll be adding in those play sets there, but let's just give this one a run and see how it goes. Here we go. I've got a feeling this is going to be mighty fast. Whoa! That is speeding along. That's a high speed train, roller coaster style, chugging to knock off. Go, Brewster! Well, let me come in and try and grab Brewster and turn him off. Whoa, you got to be fast. A very, very interesting set. I wonder, I wonder if this track here is a rip-off of another toy, or is it something that the Dark Side owns? There are two different styles of track. There's the straight pieces, and then there's the curved pieces that make the loop-de-loop. -loop. And it's quite interesting to put this playset together, and it did come together quite well. You've got to read the back of the box. I had to just follow the way it was laid out in the back of the box there. And once I got my head around a system, it's actually really easy to put together. But what was really important were these little clips. Once those little clips were put onto the track, I really felt it became a lot stronger. And yeah, that track's got a lot of flex in it, there's a lot of give and take. It was, you know, putting it together, I didn't feel like anything was going to break. It is interesting, the whole set is elevated, and you could go and put longer poles in that and make the playset as high as you want. There's a pole which is inside that base plate, and that's the piece that fits onto the track. Up on the loop-de-loop, -loop, these long poles are used to attach midway through the loop. Well, hey, that's Brewster there, but you know what? I've got Wilson and Coco, and I think by adding those two play sets into this one here, we can make a mega roller coaster play set. Well, here's some crazy stop motion of me making one of the loop de loops, and once you understand the system, it's really fast to build. Well, not as fast as this. This is a special sort of camera thing. Anyway, it gives you some idea of how the track is built. Well, it took about 13 ABBA songs because I had music playing while I was building this to build the three loop up and I've got lots of uh, curved track. I could have a straight there which I'm going to do initially but I could also put a curve in if I get into funky mode I'll put a curve into this straight area. Well let's just give Brewster a spin and see how it works. Whoa! Loop one! Loop number two! Loop number three! It's looking pretty fine and dandy I can tell you! Very very impressive knockoff set. Sort of strange saying that, but I've got to say it, it's one of the better knockoffs I've had come through the garage. Okay, this could get dangerous. I've got Brewster, Coco, and Wilson. One, two, three. Woo! Train fantastic! It's amazing. Oh, it's getting ugly there. Brewster is catching up to Wilson. Whoa! That's looking very gnarly. Oh! 
Watch out! He's chasing you! Whoa, this is a knockoff of some serious punch. I'm sort of thinking Wilson's starting to catch up the Coco. Getting very close now. Very close. A lot of nudging going on, a lot of nudging. Looks like they're all together now. It looks fantastic. pushing and barging going on but they're not coming off the tracks because of the way the wheels lock onto the tracks it's amazing I'm trying to work out how am I going to stop this mayhem I have to reach in with my hand and just very very carefully try and get those off buttons here we go I'm going to try it on this run don't know how much I want to see okay you're on no I missed I missed um Miss Coco I'll let her come around she can get at the rear here she comes. Got to be quick. Whew. That was really, really out there. Very, very impressive knockoff set, I can tell you. What I'm going to try and do is, I notice that these pull apart real easy. Welcome to the dark side and maybe mount a GoPro and get some track cam. Looking back to the other engines. Well, I've just used some blue tack. It's very dodgy, brothers, but that's very me. And we'll see if it survives the loopy loops. And I've also got it set up to capture slow motion. Okay, this could get very untidy, as so let's press record here. That camera is recording. And three, two, one. The cover going as well. Um, it's looking like a disaster from the very start. I'll have to get some separation going somehow. Oh, and go. Oh, and go. That might be better. God, I'm just holding up Bruce here for a while, holding up Coco. Okay, let him go.
Okay, I've changed the resolution of the GoPro. I've gone to 1080 and a medium setting, so it's not on its wide setting. Let's have a go. Oh, camera is rolling. Wilson is rolling. This is so nerve wracking. Brewster is rolling and Coco is rolling. I've got no idea how this is going to look. Starting already, I might have to come in and hold up Brewster. Starting already, I might have to come in and hold up Brewster. Because that GoPro's focus isn't that good when things are up close. On the next round, I'll come in and give um, Brewster a hold up here. Hand of God shot. Holding him, holding him, holding him. Comes up the back. Boom. I know how it's just crazy, crazy fun, you okay? It's been a long time since I've had such a long time since I've had so much fun with a knockoff. Oh, there's been a train wreck. Oh, I think I've missed it. I don't know what the GoPro is recording, but I don't know what it's captured. Um, how can I explain this? Bruce has come off. Stuck with Wilson, Coco's come up the back here. It's a complete and utter disaster. I better come in and turn the GoPro off. So I've got to wonder what has caused that. I'll try and get oh Brewster back up on track. It's feeling all very um very manky actually. I'll give another spin, get that camera rolling, get Wilson going, get Brewster going, get the Coco going, and they're away. I wonder what happened before. Maybe we'll see it again, maybe I'll miss it. Oh, there it is again! Oh, oh! Argy bargy there, isn't it? Argy bargy stuff. Oh, there it is again! Oh, oh! I've got a low camera. That's really weird. You know what's gonna happen? You know what's gonna happen? Any moment, they're gonna have one up the backside. Now that's what I call scary. Imagine being on a roller coaster and that happens to you. Very, very scary. I better come and turn these guys off. Aha! Oh! Out! I see what's going on. I see what's going on. And Wilson will come up the back and give another shove. Any moment now. Hello, Wilson. So now we understand what's going on here. And yes, once again, it's a complete roller coaster train wreck well it's pretty easy to change out that straight bit of track and put in a great big s let's turn the trains on and see how they cope okay they're coming around for their first run around whoa it's a wonky wonky set whoa Oh, there's been another train wreck, there's been another train wreck. Oh, for some reason Wilson has gone crazy on the loop here. What's going up? Oh, oh, doesn't make it. Look at that, that's very nasty stuff going on in there. Oh dear, dear. Come on, come on Wilson. Oh. Well, welcome to the dark side, guys. Well, I got him going again. They're taking a fair bit of punishment because I, um, I don't treat these guys nicely. Oh. Oh no, oh, got him going again. There's something going on with Wilson there. Stacks galore at the moment. Something going on. One of these crazy places, you dare not look away in case you miss one of the crashes. Who's going to crash next? Oh, argy bargy business. I don't like that. Well, I better come in and capture these guys and turn them off. And my final few words to say about this play set. Oh, got gotcha. you. Well, it's getting very nasty here. And Coco's coming up here. Come on, Coco. Boom. Okay, they're all off. You know what? When I purchased this set, the lady said to me it's a very popular set. It's only new in the sense of where I saw it in the shops. And I'm starting to understand why it's popular. Remembering I've got three sets here. I've got three loops out of three sets. Um, you, know, you ha have to remember this is dark, this is knockoff stuff so there's bits and bobs on this which come off easily and could become choking hazards it's very easy to pull these 
trains apart. When I put the camera on there, it was very easy to pull it apart. That's the nasty side to all this. But uh, for the first Chuggington knockoff set that I've seen, it's actually a very, very fun and impressive set. Well, let's put a surprise ending on this knockoff Chuggington review. In the same place where I purchased that roller coaster Chuggington, I also came across this quite beautiful little Thomas and Friends set. Now, I've never seen this before in Australia. The place where I bought the Chuggington stuff is basically where knockoff stuff is found. You don't find any licensed stuff. But I've got to think that maybe this Thomas and Friends set here is a licensed product. It was very inexpensive and I purchased three of these sets. The back of the box looks like this. There's a bit of assembly to do. I think it's all in Japanese, the writing, but the actual playset is made in China. Down on one corner of the box I can see Hit Entertainment logo. And the other corner of the box has that, and I think that's the toy manufacturer's logo. On the edge of the box, it reads like that. I can't read that. I'll have to have someone to interpret that for me. And it's got that little bit there, which looks like, to me, it could be a licensed product. Well, I need to ask a question now because I need to understand what this is before I bring this to YouTube. I'd hate to put it in a dark side Thomas video when, in fact, it's a licensed product. And it is really a beautiful little train set. This little playset's got a lot of charm. I had this one up in the house and my son absolutely loved it. I just hope it's a real McCoy Thomas set. So how about that for a Thomas and Friends mystery? It's amazing what you find in the dark side markets. <coughs> Joining the pieces of track is quite simple. <laughs> not in front of, not doing it down through camera, it's not. There are two sorts of track pieces. There's the straight pieces, and then there's the and then the blah 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 blah. <coughs> this little train set, it's got a lot of charm. My boy absolutely loves it. This is the one I had up in the house he was playing with. Oh, and it's crashed. Well, I better leave it at that. Please tell me what you think about this knockoff Chuggington train set. Remembering it's actually very difficult for me to find real McCoy Chuggington toys. Anyway, if you'd last for the whole of this video. I'm always going to thank you and bye for now.